Alrighty guys, good day and welcome back to week 5 of our APA Academy run here. Today we're up against Don Fanatic and his Norwich Skitties. Um, last week we picked up a nice dub, um, making it two in a row, I believe, for us. Um, hopefully today we can make it three uh, back to back. That'll be a really nice start after going 0-2. Uh, looking to continue that momentum here. Uh, but first of all, we um, take a look at his team. Is he only drafted one Uber? Um, I think yeah. He only got the he only decided to go with the one Uber, Don Fanatic, and that was the Hurum White. I uh, think is terrifying because my switch into Ice moves isn't the best. Um, usually, Mega Venu can be like a spadef check to that thing, but Turbo Blaze means that Thick Fat doesn't work and Ice moves chunk us real bad um yeah so sort of like uh, any form of like a sub cure and wide or a scarf one can be really scary for our team um yeah because i resist to ice at like aloe um stack attacker um, delfox um but yeah it's not the greatest generally uh and then you throw dragon coverage on that when my fairy is rebombi uh it means it means bad times but yeah, so the rest of his team, he's got Finny, Heatran, uh, Raikou with Z-moves. He's got the Crobat, which is nice and fast. Decidueye with Z-moves, Mega Kangaskhan, which can be scary. Hooper Unbound with Z-moves, which is like, Z-snatch is always terrifying. Garbodor for a ha bit of Hazard stack, Rhyperia, Livani for webs. And then Minior, because I can only imagine it was the only thing left on the board, because I that's not a real Pokemon for me has one set um, and everyone by now knows if you've seen a few of my drafts you know that I hate mons that have one set uh, but yeah so we have we got our team here um, we're gonna start off with a Zera Aura and we're running this Zera Aura is mainly our speed and crowbat it's just give us some um, give us some speed to the team here's um, plasma fists resist includes decidueye and Rhyperia oh and leave any but again that still takes a big chunk um and we have grass knot for that right period with a nice decent amount of special attack investment meaning we can um i believe we can one shot or like one shot after a tiny little bit of chip because obviously sturdy uh if he's actually no this thing doesn't get sturdy i always think right period gets sturdy and watch this happen in the battle as well um, but it doesn't get sturdy, so I can one-shot a physically defensive Rhyperia. Um, if he's like AV or um, Rindow Berry or something, then obviously we can two-tap that. Uh, but yeah, mainly this thing is here to just click Plasma Fist, click Combat, and then we got Volt Switch on there for a little bit of momentum. Um, yeah, basically finding out things are Scarf. This is really nice for his whole team. Um, the only thing we really don't hit that well is Raikou, but I mean, close combat still does a nice chunk to that. We can all switch out on it. Um, but yeah, so Zero Aura, pretty simple set this week, but it's hopefully going to be an effective one because it can just run through some of the fat in this team. Uh, next mom we have is Alamomola, as, um, or as many people know, the Living Cancer, because this thing is, <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. Uh, this thing is here for Mega Kang. Um, Mega Kang with the Rocky Helmet, um, and my Sky Eye HP. Mega Kang, um, faking out, or clicking return, or clicking like Body Slam or something, is gonna take, um, I believe it's like, I can't remember if Rocky Helmet's 8 or 12%, uh, but it's taking a huge chunk every turn. We got that Wish for a bit of longevity. Um, Scold was really the only thing I needed, um, Scald knockoff, like Scald for burns, obviously I can't burn the Finny, which comes in on this every time. But I can just pass Wishes then, I can knock off the Finny's leftovers, which is what I expect it to be carrying. Um, just so that my chip is guaranteed chip, it can't recover that back. Um, but yeah, Scald hits really nicely, apart from the Finny. Um, the Curum, again, I will just knock off that thing, maybe throw up a Wish so I can get into my designated Curum check. Um, but everything else, Skull Burns are really nice because his team's fairly physical, and if it's not, then the residual damage is very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, pretty simple set. Um, got enough EVs are uh, just to take on um, Mega Kang better. 
one thing like because of its sky ihp it actually benefits more from having um quite high in split defenses rather than just putting a lot in hp like you would with some other defensive mons and it's still the 36 hp is still enough so that i'm throwing really fat wishes and the healing wish is actually for a mon later down the line um specifically but i mean if we get a bit low or we can't really because we don't protect on this set if we don't live two hits instead of going for a wish and then trying to switch out on do all that we can actually go for a healing wish and just guarantee something back up to full um, if one of our win cons is getting a bit chipped. Uh, so third mon, we have, speaking of one of our win cons, well, this actually isn't really a win con, um, even though it does have setup. Uh, this is my Kirin Black, Kirin White check, sorry, Kirin White. Um, with Kasibberry, Prism Armor, we got Moonlight Carmine, Moon Guy, Psy Shock. Um, with the Kasibberry, we can, well, we always chew a, um, always chew a Shadow Ball. Um, and then we can click Carmind, and once we have plus one up, he's actually not doing more than 50% to us with, I think that count either Timid Life Orb or, yeah, I think it was Timid Life Orb or Modest, um, neither do, neither of them do over half to us, so we can Moonlight up on that thing, Carmind up, you know, that sort of stuff. Obviously, if he goes for, I mean, a Shadow Claw could be his way around this, but I don't anticipate him bringing that because Shadow Claw hits this, and it hits Delphox. Delphox, which like I considered bringing for about a whole 30 seconds. Um, Delphox really hasn't it hasn't left the bench this season. I'm pretty sure it's the only mon I haven't brought yet. Yeah, because I've brought every other mon. We brought Kecleon for the first time last week. Um, we brought Archaeops. Yeah, so <laughs> Delphox is the only mon that I haven't brought this season. Uh, but yeah, back to this set. We've got enough speed to be speed creeping a I think it's a zero speed heatran or maybe zero speed finny something like that um or a little bit of speed in either of those um but yeah that's that's what we're creeping there um i could have put the rest in special attack but didn't really need it could have put it into fizz death but it, like his physical attack is omega kang um hooper unbound decidui and maybe crobat or and rhyperia but we're faster than that thing. Moon guys chunks it real good. Um, Hooper unbound. Gonna have a dark move. It's gonna kill us. No point in running defense investment. Mega Kang surely has to run a dark move to just be able to hit us. There's no reason why it wouldn't. Um, and Decidueye again. That's gonna run Ghost Stab. Probably Spirit Shackle. That's gonna chunk us. And then Crobat. It didn't really help with our calcs there. So I just figured the speed went into um, to speed creeping. Hopefully we can get a move off before something. Um, yeah, so that's our, that's our Dawnwing set. Moving on, we got Groudon. Um, you're probably getting sick of seeing Rock Polish Groudon, but it, it genuinely can just win. His ground resists are a Decidueye, a Crobat, and a Levani. Um, Decidueye and Levani, uh, Life Orb, li Life Orb, Max Attack, Adamant, um, Fire Punch in the Sun, those... I think there's like, yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure they just both drop. Um, Stone Edge, Crobat just drops, unless it's Charty. Um, and then Precipice Blades claim something. Um, oh, unless the Minior, but again, I don't count that. That never comes. <laughs> Minior for Dom Fanatic is going to be like Delphox for us. It might come to one very niche game, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's Groudon. If I get a Rock Polish up, I the speed is to be able to outspeed all these scarfers. Um, I don't think I crept Scarf Crobat because why do you bring Scarf Crobat for us? Actually, I'm, I think I crept Scarfers that like crept. Um, no, I crept, I crept all these. I think I crept um, Scarf Raikou with this set. That's that's what I'm thinking. Um, and then the only reason I see him bringing like maybe Scarf Bat is to outspeed something. Um, Maybe outspeed Rabombi and Zera, but like, I don't bring Scarf Rabombi to this game ever. Uh, yeah, it was just not worth it. Um, considering I got a little bit of extra bulk, I was able to go Adamant. Um, yeah, it just wasn't worth. So, going on, we've got our fourth Mon here. Or is it our fifth Mon? I can't remember. But our next Mon is Scarf Archaeops. Look at his team, and look at Head Smash. His resist includes, and is only... Rhyperia. <laughs> Adamant head smash chunks everything. It Kieran White drops. Um, 
Finny, it can actually drop if we get a little bit of chip and he's not physically defensive. Heatran can drop. Raikou can drop. Um, well, actually, probably most of the time drops. Crobat drops. Um, Decidueye. Actually, Decidueye is another resist. Um, it still takes a lot, though. Mega Kang takes a lot. Hooper drops. Um, so, yeah, you're getting the point. This Mon, if I get this Mon in on something that's not Scarfed, is not Charty, and is not, like, stupidly physically bulky, it claims a kill. Um, so, yeah, that's mainly it. You turn to predict the... Um, Maybe to be, predict the Rhyperia switch in to get a bit of momentum, see if he has any way around this. Aquatail for the Rhyperia. Um, it hit kind of nicely. Adam and Aquatail does a good chunk of this thing. If we can get it on the switch, then we two shot it comfortably. And might be able to one shot it once it gets a bit chipped because Rhyperia has no reliable recovery. And then Defog, because he has webs, um, he has rocks, and he has spikes and T spikes. So he has all four sets of hazards. Yeah, there are only four. Yes. You've got all four sets of hazards. I'm not bringing Mega Vena this week, so I needed a way just... In case he brought a really slow um, Toxic Spice team, I wanted to just defog on something. And I didn't need another move here. So, um, that worked out nice. And finally, our last one, which is going to be our win con this week, Stack Attacker. Uh, with the Rocky MZ, um, Beast Boost, we've got Gyro Ball, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Trick Room. We're running Max Attack, Animan, almost Max HP, um, a little bit in Spideff. Um, that's just even HP numbers sort of thing. Uh, this mon hits everything. It's, you can go through the whole roster. Um, the things with Rocky MZ, I nuke something. I think Roxy is going to be used for the Tapu Fini. It's going to be used for the Decidueye if I'm not at plus one. And maybe a bulky Mega Kang. And that's, that's it. Everything else. Uh, and then maybe if I need to like not risk a miss with Stone Edge. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If I can get this stack attacker in, I can click Trick Room freely, then I claim kills. That's It's as simple as that. He has no way of underspeeding this. He has no, like, vacuum wave users or mark punch users. You like, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bleak when it comes to his stack attacker matchup this week. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the team. Um, we're going to get into the battle here shortly. Uh, before I, actually, before we do that, I'm going to talk about the six that I'm expecting. Um, Kieran White, Finny, Mega Kang should always come. Um, looking at my lineup, I'd say maybe uh, I want to say maybe Raikou, but then Groudon's a problem. Um, maybe Crobat, but just for some speed. I don't think it's outsped by Zera, and I I feel like he has to bring Rhyperia because otherwise Zera um, just clicks Plasma Fists over and over again against his team. Uh, the Hooper Unbound has a really nice matchup. If you can get like a Z Snatch off, or you can run Scarf or something, or even if he just gets it into a position to click buttons, it really hurts my team. Um, fighting Psychic and well, Fighting plus Dual Stabs really hits everything. Uh, I don't really see what it what it doesn't hit. Uh, and then maybe the Livani for Webs. I don't see that. Maybe the Decidueye, like a Fizz Def Decidueye for. Fizz Def Decidueye with Ocka for, um, for Groudon, maybe. I can see that coming. Um, I can maybe see him wanting to Hazard Stack if he really hard predicts Novenu. But, yeah, so it's it's a bit up there. Um, I feel like there are three Mons that are definitely coming. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's what it's going to be. Um, but now we will get into the battle in just a sec. Mighty getting into the battle here. Um... Y'all have seen all the good jazz in what I'm expecting in the team builder. Um, let's just, I mean, I didn't overly prep for Hooper Unbound. I mean, I got enough that can revenge it, but let's just, you know what, let's just sort of hope it doesn't come. Because, I mean, it, it hits hard. It's scary. Um, Scarf set is not most fun, but I can, I can play around that. Um, let's see what he brought. He did bring the Hooper. Yay, he brought webs. Um, that's... That's something. Um, I lead with Flappy Bird uh, because I head smash something or I U-turn on the Rhyperia. And now I'm going to sit here not confirming for a minute to make him think like I don't have a dedicated lead, but also so I can set up my damage calc. Um, 
I got. This will be interesting. So, yes, I do have. Um. So now I'm going to write down his mons, and because I'm old-fashioned, I do it on a piece of paper. And I've run out of pe space on my paper. Fuck. Um. That's cardboard. Here we go. Got some paper. Hey, right, I'm gonna confirm now. Um, what did he bring? He brought Livani, Curum White. He brought Rhyperia. Oh, a challenge by Jack. He brought Finny, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so sticky. Well, this is going to be a Sash Webs lead. Um, I don't want Flappy Bird taking damage, so I'm going to click. Yeah, let's just... He's like a... No bulk. <laughs> Head Smash would kill two and a half of these things. U-turn does 80%. Um, there's no way he's not a Sash Webs lead, let's be real. Um, so are you turning here? I still don't have all these ones written down. Look at me. King. Oh wow, that does so much. Uh, what do I go into here? I think I go into sweatpants. Because, realistically, what does he do to me? Um... Yeah, you know what, I go into sweatpants here because I get in before the vault switch, I see if he goes for webs. Yeah, he goes for webs. Um, so, I still only have five of his mons written down. What am I missing? I'm missing Crobat. Now, vault switch should take this thing out. Um... That's weird. Oh, my calculus, I'm showing Volt Switch for some reason. I'm actually going to just Plasma Fists here. Um, because we'll get the kill. And we can either Volt Switch on whatever comes in or find out about some Scarfers. Um, so, Zero Aura. Kills. Levani. Now the other thing about Plasma Fists is... Well, actually, he goes into Pete here. Now... I always think this thing gets sturdy for some reason. Um, and it doesn't. Now my Zera Aura set against a... Rhyperia. I have an 80% chance to Oko here. Um, I think he's going to be Grassberry. Ah, Zero Aura is so nice for this matchup, though. Yeah, I'm clicking Grass Knot. Fuck it. Nah, he's Grassberry. That was, that was a bad play, but... He now goes for EQ and bobs me here, probably. Yeah. That was a that was a dumb play. That was yeah. Um. But I mean, now I go into. He's got webs up. Do I go into Flappy Bub and click Aqua Tail? Yeah. No, I don't want to reveal it. Um. So, hang on. Let me calc. Let me slow down and calc. He was Rindo. Rindo Berry. Uh, Grass Knot did about half. Yes, that's probably about the set he was. Um, 
these dawn wings do? Dawn wings. Yeah, I still want dawn wings for Kiram though. Even though I might kill. Um, I'm gonna get the. He's gonna rock move me though, and this thing is such a good breaker for this team. I'm getting spammed on Discord. Um, I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to go on Groudon here, because Groudon sets sun. And I can just kill this thing. Um, what does he go into on a blades? Like, Crobat? Does this thing get any ice coverage or something? Ice. Yeah, it gets ice punch. What does an ice punch do to me? It's like 40%. Um, Crobat. Let's see. I'm just saying if it's uh, plus one. Plus one, I outspeed a Crobat. So. I'm not going to pull the trigger yet. I'm going to go for Blades here. He switches out probably into Crobat. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how much? The bulky Crobat. I think he goes Super Fang here. Hmm. Is it worth risking switching in? I do. I Life Orb Stone Edge. I should do so much for this thing, but mm, I'm going into Flappy Bird because I want to get a Defog off, and I'm predicting a. Super Fang, or a Toxic, or something, and yeah, Super Fang comes out. That should leave me with one above Defeatist. I think that's how it works. Yes. Now I just click Head Smash for free, don't I? Oh, I click Default. Hmm. What do I need to Default for? I click Head Smash here. Yeah, he switches out. I could have defogged there. He goes into Pete. I just need... This is the chip that I need. That does so much for a resisted hit. Um, now we go Allo. Yeah, because Allo eats hits. And his way of breaking aloe is probably like, I don't know. I live a rock switch in with um, Archeops, don't I? I hope so. 43 at uh, 151 divided by four. Yeah, I live a, I live a switch in. So I can default later. I'm gonna knock off on the incoming Finny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Finny was left over. Throw up a wish here, just and he goes for taunt, yeah, that's what I expected. I 
My switch here is into the, whatchamacallit, Dawnwings. Um, because Finny can't touch Dawnwings, like, whatsoever. Um, and I can calm mind up on it. And his physical attackers that are left are Kangaskhan, Crobat maybe, I think Brave Bird. Yeah, he goes for Nature's Madness. I, that misses. Um, we got my Dawnwing set here against Tapu Finny. Moonblast is doing nothing. Uh, Moon Geist Beam and Psy Shock. Um, yeah, can't mind here. He goes for Nature's Madness and gets the miss again. I feel kind of bad about that because you shouldn't miss two Nature's Madness. Plus one. So I should be two-shotting this thing now. I'm going to click Psy Shock here. As he goes for Taunt, that was, that was what I predicted. Well, I predicted that or like him to land a Nature's Madness. That does like a lot. So if we get rid of this Finny, then Stack Attacker's endgame looks stupid good. Um, does he have a Dark type on this? No. So Psyshock's free. He either gives me Finny here. He hits the Nature's Madness, finally. Um, and yeah, Finny's gone. So... Hmm. Well, this screams Sucker Punch. So I go into this. Rhyperia kills... Um, what do Rhyperia kill? Zero Aura. You're gonna, like, crunch or something, maybe? Uh, and then we have... Goes for a turn and does a decent chunk. I actually don't have protect on this set. Do I healing wish here? No, I wish, and then I can like. Yeah. It's Big Daddy, cure him white. This thing is rather scary. Um, my switch into this is low, which is not not ideal. Um, I have 60 seconds to make this call. Curum White. I'm predicting Timid Life Orb because he's... Draco does a lot. Um, Ice Beam doesn't do enough. What does he have? What is he gonna have to kill me? Draco, maybe? I'm just saying if um, my I probably never live a minus two earth power with stacker no um, a minus two ice beam with Groudon yeah I can chew that so if he doesn't go Draco then 
I live this hit and I get a fat wish up with forklift. Unless he's modest life orb, which would make not a lot of sense. Oh wait, rocks. Did I forget? He goes for sub. Oh, okay, that's fine then. Now he goes for a move here. Am I Ghostberry or yeah, I am Ghostberry. I Psy shock to break this sub always, don't I? What do I Moongeist? No, I Psy shock. Goes for Ice Beam. This shouldn't do a lot. 187 down to 126. 7 out of 126. That did 61 damage. Um, these leftovers. So if he is leftovers. Yeah, he's timid leftovers. Um, I think he realizes this walls it here. But I don't take a risk. I moonlight up so I can always switch in on this thing. Oh, he goes for Toxic. Yes. He brought Sub Toxic Kiramar. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, I mean, Moon Guys Beam still chunks this thing. Big moon guys to see subs. Um, I realize I haven't been talking very much in this live com whatsoever. Um, it's just, to be fair, I got no idea why. I do apologize. Probably not the best quality, but uh, that's that's what happens sometimes when you play mons. <laughs> you get caught up into it. Um, so we break the sub. Now I click Psy Shock here, predicting Kang to take a um, ghost move. Apologies if you hear that, there is a car alarm going off outside. I just can't let this thing be behind a sub because he switches out. Wait, did I click? Yeah, he goes. He sacks off his Rhyperia here. But I mean, he let. Yes, Dawn. Wings. Hills. Rhyperia. That thing's gone. He goes into Kang. How much am I taking from this? Um, you know, Fogus kind of done its job. If he suckers, he suckers. Um, I think he returns. Ha! He power up punches, predicting the aloe, and I go for a side shot. And I think I keep this around for death fodder. No, just in case he power up punches, that's a bad thing for me. Um, So he has this Kiramite and Crobat left. I get a Rock Polish up and I win, I get a Trick Room up. 
He goes for a t Does he not have a move to hit me? That. Okay, Dawnwings gets a third kill. Kills Mega Kang. Okay. Well, um. It's Kira Might or Crobat. Um. I mean, I go into Fifey Bird here. I, like, if I uh, crow that, if he's like max bulk. Can he live from... Um. He still takes so much from Head Smash, but I think I could defog. No, you know what? Head smash, because that means I can just come in and... Because this might actually kill. Funnily enough. Oh my god, that did so much. <laughs> yeah, he's got Brave Bird. Okay, I come in and... I click Trick Room on a win, I'm pretty sure. So he's got like Heat Wave. I click Trick Room, and I win here. He goes for Super Fang. That is fine by me, because now I am faster than this Crobat. I mean... Now I can click Gyro Ball. And Stack is going to pick up a kill. And Stagger's is going to pick up the last two. So Dawnwings picks up three kills. Stacker picks up two. These two are carrying our team at the moment. Um, if you've seen our last couple of games, I think two games ago, these Mons got three kills each. Last week, Stacker got a buttload of kills. Um, we're going to pop Z here just because, like, style points. But there is no way in hell that this Mon lives. And we are going to pick up a... 2-0 dub, I think? 2-0, 3-0? I don't know, it should have been more. I misplayed with Zera Aura. Um, that was the most obvious Rindo Berry, and I still fell for it. Um, but I did need I did need chip on that thing for late game, because my two late game options were um, Groudon, which is still in the back, once again, and Stack Attacker. And yeah, Stacker picks up the last two kills here. And that takes us to, I think, 3-2 and two for the season now. Yeah, this was week 5. Takes us to 3-2. and two. Uh, It was a 3-0 win. So, I mean... Oh, GG's to Jack, or Don Fnatic, as he is known by. Um, but yeah, so... Not the greatest live come on my end. Oh, well, that that's just happens. Uh, maybe I'll put some funky music behind it for you guys to listen to, but... As always, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully join us next week when we have probably one of our worst matchups of the season. We're going up against one of our good buddies, Silver, um, and he has Mega Blaziken plus Giratina Origin. I don't know how we break that yet. Um, yes, you'll have to tune in next week to see uh, what we've managed. But until then, I will see you all later.